Hey, Tim's Workshop here. Hey, uh, this is the uh, first time I've gone uh, live on this. <laughs> uh, anyway, I want to thank everybody for subscribing to my channel. I just hit uh, 200 subs actually a couple days ago. I'm a little bit over over that now. Uh, this is the first time I've gone live uh, using webcast uh, and using YouTube. Um, now hopefully this is working. Otherwise I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> Which I normally do anyway. Um, I guess uh, after you hit 1,000 subs you uh, you get to go live stream using YouTube. Um, I don't know. But they say you can use webcast, uh, web streaming. So, so I'm just uh, experimenting here. There's a huge delay of me watching myself on here, so I'm not going to do that. Um, so I'm just looking at the camera. Um, I started using um, doing YouTube videos back in 2016. Um, I retired in November of 2016, and uh, I bought myself my first GoPro setup and uh, and started in on it and. Um, Really liked it. I really liked the uh, the connection with people. Uh, uh, my first uh, uh, my first uh, uh, watching the uh, YouTube was watching Dag Dagger uh, Dangar Marine, and uh, because I have a boat, you know, I have boat motors and stuff like that, so I wanted to learn how to work on them, and uh, started watching his videos and down in Australia. That's really cool. And I'm going, man, this is cool. You can talk to people around the world. It's, it's, this is a really awesome thing, you know. So, um, and for my channel, um, Tim's Workshop, um, I didn't want to just limit myself to a certain subject, you know. So, so um, I wrote on there that uh, I like doing how to videos, and that means basically everything. <laughs> So, yeah, I get bored easy, so I have to have to use my imagination a lot. Um, not sure if the live stream comments will be coming up on this or not. Um, if not, I'll just load it onto uh, uh, YouTube when I'm done here, and then you can leave comments there, and I'll get back to them. Just uh, ask questions, and I'll I'll get back to you. It'll be nice when I can actually, uh, you know, answer questions as I'm doing the live stream here. That'd be cool too. Um, not sure if uh, uh, oh, oh, so um, like I said, I started this in 2016, and uh, the first video I did is uh, was uh, my little chief smoker. I got it, you know, and uh, I like fishing. I also have a fishing channel too, uh, fishing with Tim. Anyway, so um, I decided to try that, and, and uh, uh, I did that just with my cell phone camera, the little chief smoker, you know. And I did some other ones too with my camera. But then when I got my GoPro, uh, after I figured out how to use it, <laughs> I started. Uh, Started doing uh, videos on my uh, Mercury uh, motor on my uh, 17 foot Starcraft and following uh, some of Dagmar's uh, things that he was uh, showing on his channel. And uh, um, I wasn't really new to uh, the mechanical world, I worked for Boeing for like 37 years <laughs> and working on aircraft, and uh, not only. Uh, uh, Mechanical, but also sheet metal, a lot of sheet metal, uh, aluminum, you know. Um, so I, I was used to using tools, you know, a lot of different tools. Tools that uh, you wouldn't even actually find in uh, auto parts stores, you know. Working at Boeing, I used a lot of different things. Rivet guns, for one. And uh, so, and then when I was 15, uh, I was. Uh, started working on cars and yeah, my first car was a uh, 65 Malibu SS 
uh, with a 327 in it, uh, had a four speed, and uh, that was my first hot rod. <laughs> so, so I uh, I went through like I don't know probably four or five clutches on the thing. I actually broke the uh, the uh, bracket, the shift lever bracket on the inside of the firewall. I actually broke it in half. <laughs> and and uh, this guy welded it back together for me. So my dad, you know, he was getting pissed off at me for doing that. So uh, it was fun, though. I, you know, uh, worked on it and found a buddy that had a, a Mustang. He had a, a 65 or 67. I can't remember. I think it was a 65. Mustang and, and we'd work on it and uh, started loving the Mustangs. So later on, I ended up uh, getting a 67 fastback. Uh, I think it was a two plus two. It was automatic, uh, 289. And, uh, but it, it was really nice. Somebody went and put uh, thrush side pipes on it and things were loud. <laughs> you, know, you know, not super irritating loud as far as driving around town. It was fun, you know. But if you were on the road, I went over to Spokane from Seattle a lot. There's a lot of open, you know, farmland and stuff out through there. And uh, I had, you know, because it was hot usually when I was going over there in the summer. I uh, had no air conditioning in that car. Um, I uh, just rolled the windows down and had my arm out, you know. My one arm would get all suntan, <laughs> burnt. <laughs> And uh, my ear would just be numb from listening to that side pipe all that way. You know. But uh, it was cool. I had a lot of fun. Let's see here. Uh, right here. Uh, enable live chat. Yeah. I'll type something on here and see if it actually works. All right. So anyway, um, I had uh, quite a few different cars. Actually, I started uh, getting into Volkswagens at one point. I had a, uh, I had the '67 Mustang, and the gas crisis hit in '74, I believe. And uh, my first wife, uh, we got divorced, and uh, I gave her the Mustang because I couldn't even afford the gas on it. I'll tell you the truth. And they weren't that popular. I mean, they were popular, but it wasn't something that uh, I thought would be worth a lot of money, which I was wrong. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, I uh, uh, gave that to her, and I bought a, a Volkswagen 65 Bug. So, I, uh, I had that, and I played with that a lot, you know, uh, pulled the engine out because uh, uh, one of the spark plugs burned through the side of the head. <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but <laughs> aluminum head, you know, anything can happen on it. So I went ahead and uh, pulled that off, and uh, I had a, a, a 68 bus at the time, and the engine blew up on it. So I had it parked at my parents' place. So I... Uh, I got the idea of, hey, maybe the heads will work on that on the bug, you know. whole different year, <laughs> Volkswagen bus compared to a Beetle. So I did, and uh, I pulled off uh, the heads on the bug, and uh, 
I actually pulled the whole engine out. I had it sitting in the garage. So I was working on it there. And so I put the uh, heads off the off the bus on the bug, and they fit, you know. Okay, cool, you know. Uh, put everything together and, and uh, went to start it, and there was no compression. I mean, it was just, <laughs> I don't know what the heck. And uh, so I had my dad come out and turn the key, and I watched uh, the valve covers, uh, valves, and they were moving. Yeah, I mean, they were just stuck open. And so I said, oh, shut it off, you know. So, so I uh, um, I looked at it and I went, well, hell, the the rocker arms, they they need to come out, you know. So I got a whole stack of washers and and just put washers underneath it until I got it, to, so I could uh, adjust the valves on both both sides. And I did it, and it worked, and it ran for years after that. Just, with a different uh, with 68 bus heads on so those engines man they're unbelievable you can do anything to them <laughs> and so uh, I got bored with it my brother really wanted to buy it so so he bought it from me so that worked out good <laughs> he, he drove it and had a lot of fun with it I was actually having a problem with the thing uh, you know if I hit a bump or something the, the engine would die you know and I couldn't figure it out well, he figured it out right away because he's good with uh, uh, electrics, you know, electrical. So he got in there and started testing everything, and he found out that uh, there was a short up in the uh, the courtesy light up above the passenger door. Every time I hit a bump, there was a, a wire in there that had melted through, and when it touched the uh, metal on the on the on the roof. It would kill the engine somehow or another. I don't know how that happened, but uh, that's what it was. He spliced it, fixed it, and worked great after that. So anyway, um, this is my first live stream. I don't really see much going on. You yeah. know. Uh, I, I didn't really announce I was going to do this. I don't know if it actually works because I'm not uh, over a thousand subs yet. So I think I'm just making the webcast only. I don't think it, anybody could see the uh, see see this uh, in order to get on there and, and chat. Even though I got it, I got it on public. Although I clicked on public after I started this, so. I, working or not uh, anyway I will ask some folks and see I will do that mm -hmm. Anyway, sorry about uh, the pause there. I'm just kind of looking over everything on this. It says stream health. I'm in the yellow. I'm not in the green. But, uh, and there is a, there is a delay, that's for sure. It says I'm live. And it says public. I changed it to public. So we'll see how that works. Encoder setup. Stream key. Alrighty. So I'm going to wrap this up for now. I'm not uh, going to go on forever. I'll, I'll try this again. I just wanted to see if this works. Alrighty, so uh, if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe to uh, Tim's Workshop and uh, leave comments, hit the notification bell, and give me a like. Thanks.
In this video, I'll show you how to set up and manage live streams in YouTube's live control room. 